<laughs> Hello everyone, Andrew here. And today I'm decided to find the best Inve Malstum clone. I mean, I'm talking about someone who has the technique, the sound, the playing, the gear, the attitude, and of course, the outfit. So for this I just picked up some random YouTube clips, let's just check them out. This is the first one, some of you may recognize this guy, he is uh, Max Ostro, he's a uh, really, really good guitar player, he's a uh, really young talent, so let's check him out. Incredible guitar player, I have to say. Good technique, uh, good sound actually. And uh, his vibrato is really, really good as well. just like that he is also really really clean and uh, precise so he's definitely um, so he definitely knows how to shift the Inve sound those are pages just uh, Oh, perfectly executed for me so this guy is really good definitely so in terms of uh, sound technique uh, playing style he definitely gets close to what we are looking for today we don't have the outfit though but a uh, really good candidate let's go for the next one so the next one is uh, Gustavo Guerra let's see this is far beyond the sun something different in their pages there, not similar to the song, to the original song. This guy is a really good guitar player, of course, not close to what we are looking for. Really good technique, he's his own technique, of course. I notice in those uh, three string arpeggios that it's not exactly as Inve executed. Of course, uh, I would say that he's just playing a cover, but not in the way to achieve the exact same sound. And of course, we can notice it in he's not trying to be like Inve Malsum or anything, but he's a really, really good guitar player. Let's continue. Okay, improvising a bit, of course. Yeah. Woo! That's very cool. Makes me feel jealous, <laughs> honestly. <laughs> oh, what is that, man? Oof. <laughs> this guy is uh, insane, definitely. He is really, really good. He plays so clean and he also makes it look so effortless somehow. This guy is really good, really good playing. Uh, of course, not close to 
what we are looking for. He's not intending to have the same Stratocaster sound or the same uh, Marshall stuff. We can see that he's a, he has a Mesa Boogie with a Kemper amplifier or um, I'm not sure what that is exactly. So definitely really good guitar player. Let's move on. Okay, the next uh, contender is Eddie Van Hot Otman. I hope that I pronounce uh, his name right. And here we are getting closer to actually what I'm talking about. Okay, definitely. Now, this case is different. This is the perfect example of a guitar player who's trying to mimic in bass playing and not to just to play a cover. Of course, we can notice his outfit and the strat, the, the hairstyle, pretty in bay. What I've noticed is also in the, the way that he's executing the, the leaks and the, the vibratos, how he, he executes them as well. I find that that is really similar to what Inve does. I have to say something though, to play close like Inve Malston and not really I would say. Let's keep watching. I'm a bit confused actually now. Okay, so I'm a bit confused here because the reverb makes it a little bit not clear. I'm not quite sure if the guy is actually precise and clean or not because the reverb is confusing me a little bit. He nailed the outfit, definitely. So let's go to the next guitar player. This guy is one of my favorites. I discovered him some years ago on YouTube and uh, his playing style is just amazing and uh, you will notice why. The sound is just perfect. Of course, this is not an in-bass song, this is an improvisation over a backing track, I would say. <laughs> oh god, this guy is just amazing. Man, this has this this, this guy has a feeling as well. Man, 
this guy is just amazing. The sound is really, really close to Inves sound. The technique is also really similar to Inves. And uh, this guy has something that is actually really hard to achieve from Inves because a lot of guitar players are trying just to mimic the, 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 the shreddy stuff, you know, like uh, the speed and just uh, a lot of notes and their pages and harmonic minor scale and all that stuff. But there is not too much guitar players trying to achieve the emotional component, you know. Uh, songs like Crying, songs like uh, Angels of Love and some other songs in his first albums. And not, not only the ballads, I'm talking about that he really makes uh, each guitar solo to have a really shreddy stuff and a melodic component that is so beautiful. Um, it, it, honestly, it's a shame that uh, we cannot hear that anymore, at least from my perspective. I cannot hear that in uh, the most recent music that he has been releasing. But this guy definitely nails it. I don't know if he studied Inve a lot. I think he also is influenced by Sack Wild. Um, let's watch a bit more. one of my favorites and now that I just um, watched this video it makes me think on something that I really struggled a lot with and uh, is with um, I don't know what it's called honestly uh, something related with the stamina or something like that and it's like uh, you are playing uh, like a really long leak or you are doing like a fast run and you're continuing playing for a few seconds and then you descend and you are, uh, ascend again and you don't stop. Uh, that's something that I struggle a lot with uh, because I couldn't play that much. I just uh, play like a descending harmonic minor leak and uh, after just three or four seconds I just had to stop because I didn't have too much energy. Nowadays I cannot I cannot even play anything close to that but due to my focal dystonia but um, yeah just I had to point that out now that I remember. So in conclusion this guy definitely has the technique, has the sound, the, the emotional component, the playing style. Um, uh, in the videos that we haven't seen so by far we haven't seen uh, too much of the gear so it's a bit hard so we have to to, to consider only by what we hear, but oof, man, one of my favorites. Oh, man. Oh. 